Little bitch, I just been in my bag. Time is up. How is you off no okay? cake? Look, with my ass in the spot. Yeah, bitch, I the bow like I'm fuck with the gang. And I swear, my homie, a bitch wanna blow me. I had the screenshots, but I lost them. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Stagger Stars Rock. Back with another video, man. But shit, though. This some shit that have been heavily requested type shit. Like, mad niggas wanted to know this story. You feel me? Like, mad people want to know about this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just going to tell y'all boys about this shit. How I saw us, you know what I'm saying? Started and how, you know what I'm saying? That we became the most known clan on PS4. The most hated clan on PS4. You feel me? So, shit. But make sure y'all boys like this video and shit. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I'm going to go. We're going to get into this shit. Like, straight up, bro. Cause, you know what I'm saying? I know mad niggas wanted to hear this story, you know what I'm saying? This is my first story time type shit. But look, this is one of the videos I know mad y'all niggas seen, bro. Mad y'all niggas seen this video. Let me see this shit real quick. I'm gonna go into this shit real quick. Let me see. All right, but let me switch over. Let me switch over to my PS4 real quick. All right, but so look. Look at this shit real quick, you feel me? This is the cash out video. I know mad niggas seen this already. Everybody and their mama seen this. Everybody and their mama seen this. So boom. We not even stay too long on this video, but boom, alright, but I seen this right. This is we gonna get into even before this. Before this, how all this before even this even started. Cause this is one of the you know what I'm saying, my most popular videos and shit, so you can get into even before that type of shit, you feel me? You go to my channel, right? So boom. <clears throat> Boom, this is what we're going to do Before we even go to any old school videos Most of the videos back then, bro I didn't even post videos like that, to be real I didn't post videos like that I wasn't taking this shit seriously for me I was never a YouTuber like that Until, like, basically This is what happened It was me I already had a clan on that shit, you feel me? I already had my own clan on there it was, it was by myself. It was SMG, some shit that, you know what I'm saying, me and my niggas do, you know what I'm saying, in real life. It was never no video game shit. It was never no, you know what I'm saying? It was SMG. I was in there with one of my RLs, and then it was, um, I was in that bitch with one of my RLs, you feel me? I was in there with one of my RLs, and then, um, who else was in there? It was me. I started that shit, SMG. It was one of my RLs. It was JJ, and then it was, like, two other um, two other like um, APV APV niggas, and was was Zay in there? No, nah, I don't think Zay was in there at the time. Zay wasn't in there at the time. Was Zay in there? Nah, Zay from Eight Hundred, he wasn't in there at the time. I'm pretty sure he wasn't in there. And then I, we started playing. I started playing that shit for like a week or whatever. I started playing that shit for like a week. Boom. We started making a little name on there, whatever. Niggas seen us trying to social and shit. You know what I'm saying? I get on every now and then. Well, I was on there for, like, good, like, the whole week, you know what I'm saying, playing that shit consistently, whatever. But not, like, ODing, you know what I'm saying, but niggas was playing that shit. The next thing you know, started meeting niggas and shit like that. This nigga Blunt, he seen us on there, you know what I'm saying, holding it down, the SMG, or, like, four of us, five of us, you know what I'm saying, doing that shit. Fucking, all of a sudden, he wanted to, like, he wanted to ally and shit. At the same time, we was, like, you know what I'm saying, before, before we even get into all that, he wanted to ally, and niggas was, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We kind of new to the game, you know what I'm saying? We want to do our own shit. I was like, nah, bro. I want to do my own shit type shit, you feel me? And then I think he took that some type of way type shit, you feel me? He took that shit to the heart type shit. And after that, little petty shit started coming out. Like, I started hearing little bullshit start coming back from his little clan because at the time he had a clan, Taliban. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. We could go back. Let me see. Niggas started coming to me telling me little shit. I'm gonna go to like streams from streams three years ago. This stream from three years ago, bro. A, a stream from three years ago, y'all. We gonna see this shit. This is see. This is OG shit. This is OG shit, y'all. This is OG. Like, look at this shit. This is OG shit, bro. This is the first. This is actually the first um. The first um shirt I ever made. This is the first shirt I ever designed. Y'all know me. Anybody know me? anybody that know me, bro? I don't design clothes. I don't do that designer shit. I don't like doing that, bro. You feel me? I don't like doing that designer shit. I'm not a designer. You feel me? So look, boom. This is real OG, bro. This is see. This is when they got chaos. This is when retribution was chaos, bro. This is some real OG shit. This is when they had Nexus. You know what I'm saying? Fireflies. Oh my goodness. This is OG. I forgot all about this shit. This is real OG. See, man, see, this is some shit that you ain't gonna see for real, bro. 
This is real OG. That nigga Quaz, C Taliban. We got Fonny and SOS. Yeah, this is real OG shit. Look, numb. Hold on, numbing. Numbing chaos. Hold on. What? Numbing chaos. What? That's the, hold on, I ain't. Why is this nigga numb? Hold on. Wasn't numb. Uh, that's, that's a different number. Where numb was doing Taliban and Taliban on Krim and Chaos on Enforcer. Two different clans? Nah. I don't think you was playing both sides that early, bro. OG days, people ain't play both both sides like that, bro. People ain't play two different clans like that OG days, bro. Niggas was not on that. But look, see, this is some OG shit. Like, let me pause this. Let me pause this. This is some OG shit. Like, look at that nigga Rico right there. Playboy J. Like, this is some OG shit, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like, what the hell? Damn. I'm gonna have to do a reaction to this shit or something, even though I'm reacting to it. But we're not gonna stay too long on this video, dog. This is some real OG shit, bro. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is OG days. Hold on. Casey there, too? I think I see Casey. I think, no. Yeah, I think Casey there, too. This is the real OG days, y'all boys. Like, when I say OG days, and when niggas say OG days, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, OG days. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, I'm surprised I don't see nobody from Slaughterhouse over there. See, look, they even got niggas from Savage Shooters. Niggas from Savage Shooters, I'm trying to tell y'all. We ended Savage Shooters, bro. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, a lot of a lot of y'all don't even know about this OG shit. Like, bro, SOS, bro. We done ended so many clans on this shit, bro. Murder Empire. I go to a video right now. My nigga Crash Rari on Crash Rari channel. Smacking they leader 1v1. Ending Murder Empire. You feel me? Smacking Mikey 1v1. Fucking who else? Who else? Nigga, um, Sherm getting smacked by Savages 1v1. Multiple times on Savage channel. Everybody seen that. Like, Bro, it's multiple times I had niggas in SOS and wreck niggas clan. We done wreck niggas clan together. Like, bro, it's so many shit. Like, bro, Savage Shooters, Murder Empire. Who else y'all want to name, bro? Everybody. There's so many clans on this bitch. Who else? There's a lot of OG clans that I forgot, dog. But I'm going to remember them names. I remember some. I remember them bitches. But hold on. We can get into this shit. Hold on. That's crazy. This is some real OG shit. That's crazy. It's crazy. But look. Hold on. Hold on real quick. You're not even watch that video like that. That's some real OG shit. Look, chaos. Let me go back to some shit like this. So basically, boom, we're going to get into this shit. It was me, J-Lock, and then um, Pretzel and Zay. It was four of us, bro. After that nigga Blunt wanted to like, oh, what you call it? He wanted to um, ally with us. We turned him down, all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? With SMG. It was like, nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? We're going to start our own clan. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was leading SMG, and it was like no serious shit. So I'm like, fuck it. We're going to start taking this shit serious type shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was me, J Lock, some little nigga named Pretzel, and it was Zay. Fucking boom. We was talking about it. We was talking about the clan name and shit. We was talking about this, that, and the third. What should we name it? This, that, and the third. You feel me? And then um, it was coming up with names. And me and Zay was coming up with names. It was like, nah, not this, not this. That's when I came up with, like, yo, stack and starve. It was like, you know what, that shit good. We both agreed to it. Like, yeah, that shit fire. And I'm like, I asked him, like, bro, you want to be the leader? You want to be the nigga that really run this shit so you can make the clan? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really care at the time. Like, bro, you make the clan, you send me the invite and shit. Like, nah, bro, you do it. You go ahead and be the leader, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be the co-leader. You run this shit, bro. This time the third. You go ahead and make the clan and send me the invite. She just came up with the name. I was like, all right, bet. So I did it. So I'm the invite and shit. You feel me? So boom. After that shit happened, fucking, we did our shit. Let me take this shit off. I know y'all niggas probably can barely hear me. We did our shit. Then, um, let me see them go to some old school videos. Go to some shit like, some shit like this. But basically, we did that. Boom. After a while, we started doing our shit. Like, we was playing missions and shit like that. You feel me? We started recruiting. We started getting big, whatever. That's when, um... We started getting a decent amount of people in the clan, you know what I'm saying? Little OG people, little Zephyr. We started getting niggas like Zephyr, you know what I'm saying? Nice, sweaty niggas. I seen the 2v2 versus La Familia, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was a real nerd. We started getting niggas like him, you feel me? So then, boom. We had him, a couple other niggas and shit. I can't, you know, I can't remember this shit. This was like OG days and a lot of niggas, you know, fade our memory and shit. You know how that shit go, nigga. You already know how shit go, but basically, fucking. Who the hell is that? See, that's another. 
kick soles. He was SOS. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of. I ain't gonna lie to you. Look at Driller. Like I ain't gonna hold you, bro. We like literally we touched the whole community. Like SOS was the community clan of APB on PS4. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. Like nigga, we had the most people out of anybody overall all time, bro. Like bro, literally so many. Everybody and their mom was SOS. Bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Everybody that we had beef with in the old clans that we ended up ended all them little niggas and them switching sides coming like. Like so many, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. There's so many niggas to this day that still play PB that's from SOS, you feel me? That been in SOS. I ain't gonna hold you. Everybody will tell you this shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. There's so many niggas that been in SOS, bro. Like, this shit really touched the community. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas used to come on this shit, nigga. Niggas used to spam SOSK, SOSK, SOSK. Non stop in the fucking chat, bro. That shit was literally going on for years, nigga. That shit was a fucking trend, nigga. Literally, the ain't no SOS. That shit was a trend, bro. You can ask anybody that played this shit around OG days, nigga. They'll tell you, bro. That shit was a trend, bro. And that's a fact, bro. No cap. Nigga, come on, bro. Niggas even made songs about niggas. Fuck SOS. Like, niggas even made songs about niggas, bro. I even looked on that shit recently, bro. The nigga that the nigga that made that song about that shit, nigga, he got so much views on that shit. Nigga, that shit had like 100-something views at the time. Nigga, that shit ended up getting like 5,000 views. Niggas play that shit so much in social. That shit had like 5,000 views, bro. Off of just us. And I don't even think that song was originally made for us, but I think a nigga said my name in that shit. Like, I don't even know. We made niggas go to the studio over this game, bro. And it wasn't even that serious. Look, look how bummy niggas was dressing back in the day, though. Like, look at this shit. <laughs> this shit is funny, bro. Look. I'm dead. Look at this shit. This shit is funny, bro. This shit is funny. <clears throat> this shit is funny, bro. Look. D2 Wham. This one we had Fame Reflects in the clan. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. We had the best designers. We had the best designers in the game. Famous Rex, then we got Zilla. Like, bro, wasn't nobody fucking with us, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The only other people that had good designers in the game besides SOS was Retribution. That's the only other people that had good designers. And that's why we was like the, the, the clans that stuck out the most. But we always had the advantage because we was the Crim Clan and all the good people was already in the forces. So we had to go against all the good people, bro. We was the only good Crim Clan really going against all the good people, bro. And don't forget, don't 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 get me wrong, Kitty Nation back then, there was a clan called Kitty Nation. Them niggas, hold on, let me pause this video because y'all probably can't hear me. Kitty Nation, them niggas was good. Them niggas was good too back then, bro. Them niggas had a couple of niggas though. What? But SOS though? Like, that shit was a movement on that shit. Niggas already know. When you see them three letters, nigga, niggas already know. Nigga, you better try your heart out, bro, because niggas already know what time it is, nigga. You gonna get hell for either losing that match, going negative or something, bro. Like, niggas know, bro. Like, and we ain't even really starting on beef like that. Niggas started like, niggas want to come to us because we was the most deepest clan on there, you feel me? And then we had, we was the first clan on there with, like, clan outfits. It was us and Retribution, the first clan on there with clan outfits and shit. But don't forget, we had the best clan outfits. We always had the best clan outfits because we used to have designer with our shit. Then we got the best color, you know what I'm saying? The best color is red and black and white, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, come on, bro. Everybody wanted to fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Used to pull up in that shit deep as hell, 15 deep, 20 deep, 30 deep, and social standing around. Everybody in their clan outfits and shit. Niggas would just be hating. Niggas would walk past. Niggas would see us well as deep as hell. They'd be like, yo. Can we join? Niggas, niggas will get rejected and all of a sudden it's SOSK. Fuck SOS. Da, da, da. That's how that shit was, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, anybody that's an OG know it. They'll tell you, bro. That's facts, bro. No cap. So, boom. This nigga Blunt, <clears throat> he wanted to ally with us and shit early. We turned him down. We was playing missions and shit. A couple of us early, you know what I'm saying? OG days. <clears throat> His boy Locks. This nigga named Locks. He wanted to join, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to join SOS. He came and told us, me, J-Lock and shit, because J-Lock was real close with him. He was like, yo, let me get an SOS, this, that, and the third, bro. I want to be in SOS because I really be around with y'all all the time. Y'all niggas be playing missions and shit, you know what I'm saying? He like, oh, <clears throat> I want to join SOS. Y'all niggas be playing missions. I'm with y'all niggas most of the time, you feel me? This, that, and the third. He was like, oh, in Taliban, we don't really do much. All we do is sit in social and niggas just be talking shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't really be in social like that and it should be boring and shit like that. So he was like, I might as well join SOS. I'm like, shit, bro, don't tell me that. I'm like, tell Blunt that, you feel me? Because Blunt already mad at us because we didn't want to ally with him and shit. So I'm like, tell him that. I don't really talk to him no more because at the point of the time, like in the OG days, like like I said, like a week of playing or whatever, we was cool. Like me and Blunt, we ran into each other. We was cool or whatever. Like we had no beef or nothing like that, you feel me? <clears throat> We ain't had no beef and shit like that. The whole beef started is when I rejected this nigga ally 
because he wanted to ally with my clan, um, SMG and shit. He wanted to ally. With, he, he even asked to ally even with SOS when I made SOS when when when, when we came up with SOS. And he, he even asked to ally with us. I'm like, no, bro, I want to ally with you. Feel me? I want to do my own shit. I always been like that. I always want to do my own shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to ally with niggas. I don't want. You know what I'm saying, <clears throat> especially with a nigga like you. You feel me? Like I ain't really see no benefit me ally with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, nah, bro. I don't really see the point. So boom. Let me see, camera right, all right, camera right, boom. All right, so after that, nigga started getting tight. We started seeing subliminals and shit. I heard him. He started killing killing my clan members in, like, missions. He's like, hit him with, do a fake, like, sneak shot, shoot him in the back when they not noticing, and then lead a mission, little stupid shit like that. Like, doing little dumb shit like that, then kill him in bailing and leave. Like, new members and shit, he was doing shit that too, that, you know what I'm saying? They didn't know what was going on. So I'm like, all right, bet, boom. <clears throat> That shit start happening and shit, you feel me? So I'm out, right, but fucking what start happening? What else start happening and shit? Blunt, look, they got the blunt and mics. They got, I said blunt and mic, but they look, they even got the Rex and the blunt mic up right here. Red beams even dropped that shit. But after that, shit started getting real heated and shit. This nigga, this nigga blunt, after he started doing shit like that, you know what I'm saying we was always bigger than this clan. So when we had more niggas at the time. We catch that nigga lagging, bro. Smack him in missions, smack him in bailing, killing him. Y'all even seen the um videos with Zay that I even reposted with Zay when the um <clears throat> we could probably go to that and watch that. We could probably go to that and watch that. The video with Zay where um hold on, let me see something real quick. The video with Zay where this nigga um he was he was showing them how they was screen they was like crying in um in party chat when we were smacking them niggas and shit. Y'all niggas seen that video. But then, hold on. I seen this. I seen this exposed video. To see, this is like some OG shit. I'm not even gonna go. I'm not even gonna play that shit because I seen that already. But basically, I'm gonna tell y'all end game shit. I'm, I'm gonna try to tell y'all end game shit. I ain't really see, get to see in videos. You know what I'm saying? So well, when all that shit happened, boom. <clears throat> this nigga did some weirdo shit. He did some real life weirdo shit. Boom. We was all in the party. I still had him out of my friend list and shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga joins the party with seven of us, like SOS niggas in the party. Joins our party, get our IP, starts booting us offline and shit. So I'm like, bet, boom. That ain't nothing. Two days later, got my internet changed. Boom. You know what I'm saying? That shit wasn't nothing. Boom. Came back on there. It was a weak ass booter at that, too. This nigga boot niggas offline for two minutes. We'll all come back on and social. Yo, bitch ass nigga, that weak ass booter, he'll get mad and boot us off again. We'll come back in social. Like, this shit was going on for like a whole two days. You feel me? Boom. Everybody get their shit fixed. Everybody get their shit changed. Boom. Everybody straight. That's when shit really started getting. After he started, that's when shit really started getting real. And nigga, every time we seen them, nigga, it was shoot on sight, bro. No matter where we was in missions together, it don't matter what it was, bro. Bailing, asylum, whatever, bro. That's when niggas started making. Well, I ain't start making videos. That's when he started making nonstop videos about niggas. And that's to the point where we were smacking this nigga so much. When I seen that last video that my nigga Zay had posted, cause Zay was doing YouTube at the time. I wasn't really doing YouTube. He posted that video exposing them, right? So then that's when this nigga, um, he posted that video exposing them. I forgot what I was about to say. He posted that video exposing them niggas. But anyway, fuck that, fuck that shit. He posted that video exposing them, bro. This nigga Blunt started getting tight, started getting tight and shit. That's when this nigga Sherm, this nigga Sherm, what you call it, he come on APB. This nigga comes to APB because Blunt, this was even in the um, thing. This was even in the video. This nigga Blunt asked this nigga. No, this wasn't on the video. This was on live. This was on live stream. This nigga Blunt called this nigga Sherm on the phone like, yo, bro, come to APB, bro. I got some niggas on here. Some SOS niggas, bro. I need some help. These niggas over here jumping us and shit. These niggas think they all that. They the most lit clan on here, bro. You could get some. You know what I'm saying? He even said, like, yo, you could get cloud off these niggas, this, that, and the third. Like, this shit is all in the live stream he had. Most of these, like, early OG clips and shit, like, it all got deleted. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas deleted their video. You know what I'm saying? Because I even went to some of these niggas' channels and I tried to look for it, you know what I'm saying? And look at some of the old videos, you know what I'm saying? Even some of the videos, the old cash out videos Sherm made about us. Some Most of them shit's deleted, you know what I'm saying? They deleted them or whatever, hit them, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But look, boom. He brings Sherm on here. That's when this nigga, I remember this shit. The first day this nigga comes on here, the first day I see him, he got the little cowboy shit on with the little mohawk. Never seen this nigga damn my life. Never played APB. Nigga has zero kills. He coming up to me talking shit. I'm like, bro, I'm not even acknowledging this nigga. You feel me? Like, bro, I'm not even paying this nigga no mind type shit. Like, bro, 
you know what I'm saying, ignoring that nigga. Like, bro, you a joke, my nigga. You got zero kills. He just getting on this game. He was, At the time, he was on the PS, PS Home niggas. He just get on the game, walk around and talk shit and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? At that time, on YouTube, I wasn't even doing YouTube like that. I only had like 300 subscribers. You feel me? I only had like 300 subscribers. This nigga Sherman already had a 1,000 subscribers. I remember this shit, bro. Because he used to always bring up, oh, you think you the nigga on this game, on this dead ass game, this and third? You only got 300 subscribers. I'm like, bro, I don't even do YouTube. You feel me? Like, I just post the videos every now and then, once in a while. You feel me? Every now and then to post some shit, you feel me? And you bring up 300 subscribers, da 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 You only got 300 subscribers, I got 1,000. I'm like, bro, I don't do this shit for YouTube, bro. If you notice, I don't even post no APB videos, you feel me? Everybody that know me is from off of y'all niggas posting videos about me. Off of Taliban's and everybody else, these other clans posting videos about us. So I never posted no videos. You can still go back to this day and go deep in my early, my early videos, bro. And look, go deep in my early videos, you would not see me fucking, what's your name? You would not see me posting, like, no early, early videos unless I had to do, like, beef shit. Me responding to niggas, you feel me? All my videos was me responding to niggas saying type shit. That's when I started, like, you know what I'm saying? That's when I started posting videos. But then, you feel me? So after that shit, boom. Sure, I'm get on there, get a clout chasing, this, that, and the third, dick riding. We shut him down. Y'all seen all that shit that happened with that. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was... I ain't gonna lie. That shit was funny, though. It was a whole bunch of little funny shit. Niggas ended up calling his homeboys, you know what I'm saying, to help him with beef. But you know how that shit go. It was... That shit wasn't nothing, bro. But shit. What else? I'm trying to remember all this shit, because it's a lot of shit, bro. It's a lot of shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit, bro. Oh, yeah. Marcus, too. I remember... See, I, don't know, I see this Marcus video. Marcus... We get into a market. Oh, yeah, Marcus was with um. Yeah, Marcus was with um. He was with um. What's his name? This nigga, um, this nigga Sherm. So he came with Sherm type shit. He wasn't. Marcus wasn't around OG days. That's what I'm saying like, he came like he came like you know what I'm saying around when OG days was getting like late. Well, like early when it was just when it was just SOS, fucking Nexus, Taliban, and um, SOS, Nexus, Taliban, KOS, and um. What was the other clan? Slaughterhouse? When it was just us, like those five clans type shit, like, bro, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't no other, like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nobody else, bro. Like, that was, like, literally the only five clans. Every other clan was, like, literally, like, irrelevant at the time. And if they was, it was, like, little clans, like, little, like, you know what I'm saying? Only two people and that shit, one person walking around that bitch. But every other clan was, like, you know what I'm saying? Legit, you feel me? Legit type shit. But. Taliban was really just like a, you know what I'm saying, just talk shit clan. Those like really like a social clan. They all the niggas is known was from PS3 home, but it's called PS home and shit. The niggas just want to talk shit, cause that's all blunt did talk shit. But he was the most terrible nigga in the game. Everybody know he was the most terrible nigga. Nigga running around with ATAC Cav to this day. Still the only nigga that run around with ATAC and Cav. You know what I'm saying? To this day, you know what I'm saying? He used to run around with that shit, thinking he a god. Da, 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 da. I'm the best nigga. Da, da, da. Like bro, you not good, but. She was funny. She was hella funny. What else? Let's get into the shit. Nah, we had the best designers. My nigga J Lot. Shout out to my nigga J Lot. That's the nigga that came with the original SOS tag. Not the the tag with the original SOS logo, you feel me? He came with that shit. All the OGs that know what the logo look like, y'all know. He came with that shit, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the founder members, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That was with us when we started this shit. My nigga Zay, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the founder members of the shit. My nigga Pretzel, he was there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened to Pretzel. That nigga, that nigga was playing that shit for like probably like a month or two. That nigga stopped playing that shit. Like he wasn't really fucking with people like that. He was some, you know what I'm saying? He looked cool, a little jit, you know what I'm saying? Jit was cool as fuck though. But <clears throat> fucking We was just playing this shit for the fun, bro. I remember this shit, bro. It was just fucking shit was nothing serious, bro. I was never planning on doing YouTube or well, I was never planning on taking this shit that serious. But after a while when niggas started you know what I'm saying? Dick ride and niggas start doing all that weird shit, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, shit. Niggas start taking that shit serious, bro. And that's when shit start getting real. You feel me? But I'm, I'm I'll probably even go to little clips and shit. Like, I'll show y'all niggas little clips and shit. Like, little clips, a little video. Like, it's all type of shit. Like, we used to be deep. Like, my nigga No Limit, Diego. Like, this is what I'm trying to show y'all. Like, 
Detroit, like my nigga Foe, like it's mad it was like we had mad niggas like and saying like I ain't gonna hold you like it was so much of us bro like I ain't gonna hold you bro like this how she used to look my nigga like my nigga like I ain't gonna hold you bro like we used to just be like you know what I'm saying like we used to be on some shit bro like I ain't gonna hold you I'm gonna go show y'all some shit like we used to pull up on shit like I ain't gonna hold you let me show y'all some shit, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, like no cow. Let me see. What's this some shit, though? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But, like, I ain't gonna lie, though. Niggas started dick eating. We smacked mad clans. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's mad shit that that I ain't even saying in the video because I forgot mad shit at this time. Cause you know how I get, you know how I get. Like when you want to say something, like you think about saying some shit, especially if it happened a long time ago. At the time you forget about it, but then later shit start coming to you when shit like that. Like I'll be able to remember a lot of shit after I'm finished with this video that I should have said. I'll be able to remember and I could be able to update y'all niggas in the comments. You know what I'm saying whenever y'all niggas say some shit in the comments, I'll be able to remember about time the shit over with and y'all see this. I'll be able to remember some shit, you know what I'm saying? Give y'all niggas updates on what really happened, but, you know what I'm saying? More shit, more in detail shit, but I'm telling y'all, you know what I'm saying? Mostly, basically, the gist of it, you know what I'm saying? Long, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, but this shit was crazy, bro. This some real OG shit, too. I had my boy VO, my nigga Savages, Rio. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, we have nine niggas. This nigga X Jimmy. That's the nigga, yes, that's the nigga. That's the nigga, bro. That's the nigga I was talking about. That's the, what you call the sound like. That's the nigga. Oh, see Zephyr, see Zephyr right here. A lot of y'all niggas, a lot of y'all know Zephyr, the OG Zephyr. That's him right there, bro. Oh, I see, see my camera too big. Let me put my camera down. My camera's too big. I can't really see the videos like that. I can't really see the videos. I got y'all. But that's Zephyr right there. That's Zephyr, y'all. All the niggas that know that, they don't know who Zephyr is, that's Zephyr right there. He's an OG. Like, he was definitely, like, top five shooter in this shit. When, like, OG days, like, bro, niggas is not playing, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro, like, the shooters we had was serious. Like, that nigga was a sweat. Before a nigga started, it was Antec sweats, nigga. He was the master of the fucking Antec. I'll tell you that, nigga. I will probably, probably tell you that, bro. He was the master of the Antec, bro. He was the only, bro, I ain't gonna say the only nigga, bro. When I say nigga smacking niggas with the Antac, nigga, it, no, it don't matter where he went. Mission District, Valen, uh, fuck, what you call that nigga? Was, bro, he was first place, nigga, 90% of the time, bro. I'm telling you, no cap. Niggas, I'm not gonna front 90% of the time, bro. That nigga used to carry, nigga. I ain't gonna front. That nigga was a demon, bro. But this is one of the missions where, this is why, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of them niggas where... I was upset, niggas. Like, niggas would even think about it. Like, I'll snap out of nowhere. Like, I'll go crazy. Like, niggas wouldn't think about it. Like, niggas would think I'm trash. Niggas would think I'm average. And then, boom, I'll go crazy against some of the best niggas. Just snap, go completely crazy. Look, this is mission versus all cash out niggas. 4v4 cash out. I went 10 and 3. Smack them niggas, G. 10 and 3, bro. Smack them niggas. We ended up losing this mission because it was some bullshit. But at the end of the day, in kills, we dominated. Them niggas couldn't fuck with us. When it come to gun game and shooting, yeah, they went a little bullshit mission. They end up dropping packages off and, yeah, running around, ran from us and shit. Like, when it came to really shooting, you seen what happened, bro. Look at this shit. Like, 10 and 3, 9 and 6, 9 and 5, 7 and 5, we all went positive. You feel me? Like, positive 7, positive what? Positive 3, positive, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, bro, this nigga went negative 1, negative 4, negative 6, like, Negative, what the, what the hell, you feel me, like, 1 and 7, 5 and 11, like, bro, this is what I'm trying to show y'all, y'all not going to see really, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm telling you, bro, and this is why I was a leader, bro, because I never gave up on shit, bro, I never gave up, my nigga, I never switched sides, never played both sides, I was one of the only niggas in SOS, you know what I'm saying, and in this APB shit, to never join another clan, ask somebody, another clan that I joined. Ask one person, never, the only nigga. Every other nigga y'all know that ran a clan or that was in the clan joined different clans. This is a fact. Not trying to throw no dirt on nobody, but that's what niggas did, bro. Niggas joined different clans. 
even y'all y'all most favorite niggas like not trying to throw no dirt on no niggas names but like subservient join niggas clan like subservient join sos before like ain't nothing wrong with that but i'm just showing y'all like i never gave up i never foot size on sos bro and i never will bro that's not me you know what i'm saying like that's just not me, bro. I don't do that shit. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I was raised different. I'm from a different area. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. It's different, bro. You feel me? Like, this shit. I don't know, bro. Fucking who else? Like, even Slaughterhouse. Like, what's the nigga name? What's the nigga name? The nigga that's in a wheelchair? No disrespect. What's the nigga name? Slaughterhouse leader, bro. What's that nigga name? Fuck. I forgot this nigga name. What's that nigga name, bro? Y'all know the nigga. Y'all know. Y'all know the nigga name, bro. I got nigga in the video. Hold on. Let me go to the video. Let me go to a video. I got. I know the nigga name. What's it? Yo, forgiving sins. Forgiving sins. Forgiving sins. This nigga joined SOS. Like mad niggas from other clans join SOS, bro. Like niggas OGs from Retribution join SOS. Like, but I'm saying like it don't even none of that shit even matter. But I'm just saying though, like I'm the only nigga that didn't do that, bro. I didn't do that. OGs from the Taliban joined SOS. Locks joined SOS. That's why Blunt got in the beef with us. This is what I'm trying to show y'all. Like, you feel me? This shit. But man, this shit already been too long, man. This shit been a 30 minute video, man. I'm gonna get into a part two for y'all boys, man. Y'all boys, you know what I'm saying? Let me get my thoughts together and shit. If y'all niggas want a part two more in detail, you know what I'm saying? Facts on this shit, more in game shit that you're not gonna see on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Y'all boys just let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's straight, straight real shit, bro. Niggas blind got cash out on there. He the one that told them niggas to come. Then fucking, you know what I'm saying? Marcus came with him. Whole bunch of shit. Other people that followed their way, but hating on us. That's that's all that shit is, bro. That's all that happened, G. But. 30 minute video, my nigga, this shit already too long. My nigga, if y'all niggas on a part two, y'all niggas let me know in the comments. It's your boy SOS Rock, man. And I'm out, man. Gang. Shit already 32. It should already be 31 minutes, bro. I can't.